What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I am now 10 weeks out. Today is Friday, July 22nd, and it is just about 6.45 a.m. So I'm gonna head off and do my cardio. Steph's still sleeping, Manny's in the backyard. So I'm gonna head off and do my cardio. And uh, I'm no longer doing cardio at home. So I'll show you guys that when I get on the road. But yeah, today's gonna be good. It's gonna be a full day of eating, full day of stuff. Uh, 10 weeks out, guys. Super excited. Let's get into it. Take the M3. So 10 weeks out, super excited. Just pulled up here to the Fit For Less gym. It's just a 24 hour kiosk gym. So I'm gonna bang off my cardio here. And I've been doing my cardio here for the last three weeks and I absolutely love it. They have the Stairmasters, all the ellipticals. And yeah, I do have the elliptical at home, but I just find that when my um, my cardio duration, when the time gets up a little bit, so my coach has me on 50 minutes cardio guys, which is a lot of cardio at this stage, 10 weeks out. It's a lot of cardio. I've never been on this much cardio at this stage, um, but I've never had, I've never carried this much weight being in this lean of condition at this stage. So it's gonna be a completely different prep from here on in. Um, and it's been a little bit of a different prep for sure. Or right, I'm gonna go ahead and get after it. I'm gonna probably split it up, probably do 30 minutes and 20 minutes post-workout today, but uh, we'll catch up with you guys uh, when I'm all done. All right guys, so cardio done, 30 minutes, not that bad. I've done the 50 minute, uh, like all 50 minutes in the morning before and it sucks. I did it yesterday. Um, yeah, so I've been on 50 minutes cardio for about six days, five days. So it hasn't been like super long. So the fatigue and everything from repetitive long sessions like that hasn't really set in. So I think I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep splitting it up on my training days because I'm going to the gym anyways. Um, for my rest days, like yesterday was a rest day. So I just banged off all 50 minutes in the morning. I'll probably, we'll see how, how I feel, right? Just do it intuitively. There's no real benefit by doing it all in one chunk or s separating it other than kind of like fatigue management in my opinion. Um, you're not gonna burn more calories. The way I see it is it's, there's a greater possibility of muscle loss if you're in that fasted state doing cardio for, for a long duration of time after repetitive sessions in my opinion. But at the end of the day, whatever type of cardio that you can stay consistent with and it's not affecting your resistance training, that's the best kind of cardio. So I think 30 minutes is a good balance. I was like ready to get off in the 30 minute mark. When I go to 50, I'm like, I'm dying, right? The sweat's coming through the shirt. You can see it. So, you know, just so you guys know, I actually did do cardio. I didn't just say I did it. Issue that breaks. Okay, so we're taking the A3. Where is it? Uh, A3 is right there. So Steph's driving the A3. We're gonna drop it off at the shop. And we'll come back for breakfast. All right guys, so we made about a 30 minute detour to get uh, coffee from one of our most favorite coffee shops. Um, I don't know if you can see that, it's called Simple Kitchen. It's over in Oakville, and it's actually right beside our old place, um, but Steph and I really like the coffee here, and Steph really likes the, they have these almond flour cookies, and they're so, so, so good. Obviously, I can't have any, but um, yeah, Steph loves them, so I was like, you know what, let's, let's go get coffee and get a cookie from here. Um, Cause right now prep, I mean, I'd love to go home and eat. I'm, I'm starving guys, but um, you know, it's these small things, especially on prep, you know, Steph's super, super supportive of my prep and um, she's so good. So, you know, little things like this, if I can do them while I can, because when I get deeper into prep, the reality of it is, um, you know, it's, it's a selfish sport and I know where my head's gonna be when I get closer to the show. And it's these small things that we're probably gonna miss out on. And I'm not going to be there really 100% for her for these like just these small things that that make a big difference um, Yeah, it's nothing nothing big just get coffee and a cookie, you know Friday morning at one of our coffee shops that we really like so um, Any competitors if you're watching this guys um, Or girls, you know while you can do these little things It makes a big difference to be in your prep because when you get closer we all know it's like zombie mode so um, yeah, so we're just here now. It is 8:40, and um, 
we're gonna get coffee, Steph's gonna get a cookie, and then, then we'll go home and eat. Thank you. What did you get? Show the people. Show the people. She also picked the best one for me. Ooh! Look at that. Not good. Ooh, damn. We should do a review of Simple. Yeah. Cause like these cookies are. How good are they? Out of this world. Like Is legitimately, the, I think the best cookie. I think it's made with like. Almond flour, I think. Almond flour, yeah. I think. And, like and buckwheat or something. I don't know. And coconut oil. So. Yeah. One day, Brayden. One day. One day. In ten weeks. In ten weeks. <laughs> All right guys, so just prepped up meal one. Obviously we're back from the shop, back from the coffee run. So meal one is 250 milliliters of egg whites, two whole eggs, and 50 grams of oatmeal. Um, I haven't prepped up the oatmeal yet. I'm gonna show you guys that in a minute. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and dive into this. I'm gonna probably put some sugar-free ketchup on it. And uh, just some salt and pepper. I just started actually adding broccoli to my eggs. I don't know. I love it. Give it a shot, guys. Um, but I go through different phases of what I like to put in my eggs. So this is just um, broccoli and obviously the eggs and egg whites. So give it a shot. Let me know how. Let me know what you think. But I'm gonna go ahead and get into this, and I'll show you guys the oatmeal portion uh, a little bit later. All right, guys. A little attire change because I have a meeting in like three minutes. Um, but I prepped up. This is actually my meal three combined with the oatmeal or the carb portion of my meal one. So I get 50 grams of oats in meal one and I get 40 grams of oats in meal three with 50 grams of whey isolate as well as 15 grams of peanut butter or one tablespoon of peanut butter. So I take all of those ingredients, so total uh, grams of oats would be 90 grams of oats, 15 grams of peanut butter and 50 grams of whey isolate and I actually make these cookies. So I make a tray of cookies with all of those ingredients and I basically eat half of the batch um, between meals one and two. The rest of the batch, so the other four cookies, for meal three, which would be around like between two and around two o'clock. So this is what I do occasionally, um, or I'll just stick with the regular just oats in the morning, but on days where I'm working from home or you want something to have with your coffee, I find this is a nice way to change it up. You know, prep is is a, is a marathon, guys. So if you can keep your head straight and keep some of these things that you like doing, um, and, and keep doing them without sacrificing your plan, this is these are the exact ingredients that I have in my my prep plan. I just prepare them a little bit differently. So I'm gonna go ahead and have half of these cookies, and I'll catch up with you guys for meal two. Look good. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So it is quarter to one and I'm about to make that second meal. So I ate those cookies and they were phenomenal. So I didn't really get into it too much about those cookies, well a little bit, I talked about why I do them. Um, but this is what I do with the other ones. So I just put them in a the container and I save them for the later half of the day. Sometimes I'll save them right to the end of the day and I'll take my last meal, which is supposed to be oatmeal and protein powder and I'll have that pre-workout. Just depending on the, the timeline, and how close it is to my workout, how much time I have basically. So I'm gonna go ahead and make up meal two. Also, I'm gonna prep up some chicken. So I wanna show you guys, cause I get questioned all the time, how do you cook your chicken? What do you do for your chicken? So I'm gonna quickly show you guys. So come on over here. I picked up some packs of chicken breasts. I picked up these also. This is like Chipotle marinated. Um, these were on sale, so I got this pack for six bucks. I'm just gonna rinse the, the marinade off because I don't know what they, what they uh, marinated to the in or what the calories are. So if I wasn't on prep, I wouldn't bother, but because I'm on prep, I'm gonna just rinse these off.
So we got the oven preheated at 400, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw these chicken breasts on there. And normally, the best way to do this is to use parchment paper, but we ran out. So I just put a little bit of olive oil on the bottom of the pan so the chicken doesn't stick. I don't put any seasoning on them while I'm cooking them. I season my chicken when I'm prepping up my meals. I find that you get a lot more bang for your buck in terms of how much seasoning you put on and how much flavor you get out of them. You know, seasoning's not cheap. Okay, so 400 degrees, you know, pop these in there. Super easy, guys. Like, I don't know why people make such a big deal out of meal prep, like it doesn't take that long. Um, and you can literally do it like throughout the week. You don't have to do it all in one day. So I'm gonna put these in for exactly 29 minutes. So I find that the sweet spot is between 29 and 31 minutes, depending on your oven and depending on how many chicken breasts you're cooking. If you're like loading that tray up, probably gonna want it closer to 31, maybe 32 minutes uh, for them to perfectly cook. And uh, when you take them out, you might be like, yeah, are they cooked? You're gonna let them sit for 10 minutes on the stove top and just let them like finish cooking because they will cook for another five to 10 minutes after you take them out. All right, so that's the chicken. It's going, it's gonna be ready in 20, 28 minutes. Um, luckily I had one more chicken breast left, so we're gonna make up meal two with this one. Meal two is 175 grams of chicken and 100 grams of rice. I know, it's so today is a low day. So I have four low days a week right now. And um, yeah, it's like poverty macros. Uh, it kind of sucks. 100 grams of rice, it looks pretty sad. So I'm gonna pop that in the microwave. And so this is romaine lettuce, cucumber, pickled jalapenos on there. It adds a little bit of spice, a little tang and um, throw a little bit of this uh, zesty Italian, a gram of carb per serving. So like I just put probably not even a tablespoon on there. That's it. Um, and then I also throw a little bit of this uh, Greek seasoning for salad on there. And I'm just sprinkling a little bit on there just for some flavor. And then a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. Or I think this is just sea salt, but whatever. Yeah. Sprinkle that on there. All right, and that's it. Now for the chicken, like I said, it looks plain. It looks not the very appetizing, so we're gonna throw some seasoning and, uh, well, mostly sauce on there. So we got Dijon mustard, which we're pretty much out of. We got Valentina hot sauce. And we have my favorite, which is the uh, Jerry Hughes no sugar added barbecue sauce. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of that. That's not even two tablespoons. So it's less than two grams of carbs. If you're super worried about it and you're getting close to prep, then you can measure it. And then I usually, the Valentino hot sauce with this, I just put a, about that much on there. And then the Dijon mustard, not gonna have much here. All right. So then what I do, and you guys are probably gonna be like, oh, that's gross. I take, a little bit of this uh, stevia package to add a little bit of sweetness to the mustard I just put on there. So I really like honey mustard and I really like the tang from Dijon mustard. So this creates kind of like a sweet tangy mustard. Um, some people are gonna be like, oh, it's gross, stevia tastes nasty, but I like it. If you wanna give it a shot, give it a go. A little bit of sea salt, the rice is done. Pop the chicken in the microwave, take the rice out. So 100 grams of rice, guys sucks but <laughs> that's all part of dieting normally with the salad meals like if this if this uh, was my pre-workout meal I wouldn't do this because I don't want to have lettuce in my stomach trying to digest because this meal is number two I will have a little bit more lettuce and near the ending of my night if I want to add a little more veg to my meal I will um, but definitely the pre-workout meal or like closer to my workout I'll limit limit the amount of veg if you are be adding veg to your meals especially on low days fill your stomach up and make you feel like you're eating more food pick some veggies that digest well with you and that have obviously very 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 minimal calories run them by your coach before you start adding them to your plan if you're on prep and if you're just dieting normally just just in moderation guys you don't want to be loading way too many veggies into your meals but um, yeah stick to the ones that digest well for you so the chicken's done and we're just gonna shake it up what I like because I put it over the salad and on the rice. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So there we have it. So the chicken, 
That's like the sweet, tangy, spicy mustard chicken. It's like my favorite combo. Give it a shot um, if you guys are dieting or even in the off season to make your chicken uh, taste better. So just to recap, meal two, 100 grams of rice, 175 grams of chicken, some romaine lettuce, cucumber, and some uh, pickled jalapenos. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this and then I will catch up to you guys for meal three, which should be our pre-workout meal because we're training around 3, 345. Like rigor mortis. Uh oh. Bath time. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Alright, guys, these are done. I'm just gonna let them sit for 10, 12 minutes and then I'll package them up. I usually just put them in a container like that or something bigger. Super easy to prep this way, guys, because I can just put all the chicken breasts in one container, throw them in the fridge, and then. When I go to make up my meals, that's when I take them out and I, again, portion it out and season it up or whatever I gotta do. It is now 2.30 and I'm gonna be training here uh, in about an hour and a half. So, I'm gonna get my pre-workout meal in. I already made it up, so let me show you. And I like to put it in the freezer just for the last five, 10 minutes. So this is just oatmeal. 30 grams of oatmeal and 50 grams of whey isolate and I'm gonna add some almond butter to it. So as you guys remember, I made the cookies, but I'm gonna save those for my last meal, which means I'm moving meal six to pre-workout. So meal six is only 30 grams of oats. It doesn't seem like a lot for your pre-workout, but remember I had carbs from this morning. So I'm gonna add the 20 grams of almond butter to this. Normally I just put the almond butter on the scale. I don't know why I'm doing it this way. This is like making it more difficult. <laughs> Oh, there we go, 20, perfect. Okay, is, oh, always put your almond butter, your peanut butter upside down, guys, the natural stuff, because it all the oils will kind of float to the top and then you won't get, like, you don't have to stir it every time. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna throw some of this sea salt on there also. All right, there we go, guys. Pre-workout meal going down and I will catch up with you guys for that post-workout meal. All right, guys. Solid workout. I finished off with some tricep dips and um, Yeah, that's our Friday workouts push Workout chest focused with some delt movements there with the laterals cable laterals and some double laterals and now I just got back in my car warmed up this meal. So my post workout meal So I'm gonna get into it 200 grams of chicken 100 grams of rice and some veg. So There we go. I'm gonna get this in and then I have two clients at 7 p.m. and 8 p.m and then I'll be back home uh, just after nine for that fifth meal. So I'll catch up with you guys uh, when I get home. All right guys, just got home. It's uh, just after 9.30 and I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry, it's been a long day. And had two clients, like I said, and then uh, yeah, the last one wrapped up at nine o'clock and then it's about 25, 30 minute drive. I'm gonna start prepping up the next meal. It'll be meal number five and uh, it's no carbs in this one guys. So usually I do like a green salad or saute up some veggies and do kind of like a vegetable stir fry. So I'm gonna prep this up and I'll show you guys what I got. All right, there we have it guys, that's meal five. So vegetable stir fry, we have broccoli, a little bit of zucchini, uh, some green peppers, and more of that Napa cabbage, sauteed it in the pan, and then um, 200 grams of chicken. And what I did is same kind of sauce as before, the Jerry Hughes barbecue sauce, a little bit of the Valentina hot sauce. I also threw a little bit of soy sauce on there, a little bit of the sea salt. So there we go guys, that's a, no carb vegetable stir fry with chicken, 200 grams of chicken, and that's meal five. I'm gonna have just some water with, I put some mio in there. Guys, this stuff's awesome. Try it out, cherry blackberry, it's really, really good. So I'm gonna have this and that, and that's meal five. I'll catch up with you guys for meal six. All right guys, it is 10.30, and I'm about to wrap this video up. So I'm gonna show you that last meal, as you guys know, that's the other half of that batch of cookies. So I didn't really give you, I give you some detail, but these are 
maple brown sugar, peanut butter cookie dough. Those are the two flavors of protein that I usually use. Um, tastes phenomenal. And again, 15 grams of peanut butter. There is one secret ingredient in there. It's a vegetable, believe it or not. So there's basically no impactful calories. So if you add any sort of veg to your other meals, like your chicken meals, it's essentially the same thing. Um, that's why this meal is is so awesome to change it up so you're not always just eating you know a bowl of oatmeal but uh, I don't do this all the time but it does keep it interesting on on these days especially I'm working from home so it's nice to have this option available um, guys I'm gonna wrap this up I hope you enjoyed it let me know comment below if there's anything in particular you want to see I'm gonna try and put out a video hopefully every week leading up to the show if not every two weeks I, I'm gonna try my best more full day of eatings, more recipes, more whatever you wanna see. Keep in mind guys, the closer I get to the show, the more boring my, my food's gonna be because I will be taking on some of these variables, but up until then, we're gonna have fun with it. Yeah, if you made it this far, I appreciate you guys. If you like the content, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and I will catch up with you guys in the next one. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. For the record, live on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. For the record.